So there's a couple different ways that you can study for parasitology. And if these don't work for you, then definitely don't do them this way. Um, but the ways I like is note cards and then um, it's these little charts. So I'll show you the one for nematodes. So it's just a simple chart. It has the, the, the scientific name and the common name, the nematodes or roundworms. And then it goes through, um, and you can, you can make this fairly easy on like, um, on Word and stuff. And so your it has a scientific name and lists all of them with their scientific name. And then the common name, which is really important to know too. So not just the Enterobius vermicularis is a scientific name, but you need to know that the common name is the pinworm. And then it has the infective stage and method of infection, uh, but you could probably make that just one column too, since that's often um, the same thing. So the infective stage is embryonated ova, but the method infection is ingesting um, that embryonated ova. So you could essentially make that one column. Um, the diseases are symptoms of it. The method of diagnosis, that's really important because that's going to be your job. And then the key identification characteristics, um, some are just for the ova, some are for the adult and the ova. Um, some have a little extra, some have uh, the different kinds of larva, and we'll go through those here in a minute when we go over the nematodes. But I think this is a nice way to, uh, to have them oh, written out. Uh -huh. Are you going to put that on here or are you going to? On where? Do you want it somewhere? I was going to try to take a picture, but my picture's not working very good. Yeah, my picture thing isn't working very good. Yeah, just remind me later and I can text it to you too. Okay. And then I like, I like um, pictures because I think that helps me remember more. So I'll put little pictures, little tricks I remember things with, anything that helps me. Um, I'll throw that in there as well. Um, and then the other way is the note cards. So I leave one note card in front. I prefer, like you can get like the little boxes and then they have little dividers that you can divide each section out into. And I prefer the colored cards, but they can be white and that works just as well. They can be homemade and it works just as well. It's just, I like the little note card aspect of them. So I keep one on top that's just kind of like random notes that are helpful. And then I have the classifications. So just like what we went over, um, your helminths, your protozoa, the different parts of those, anything I have to remember them by. And then for my actual cards for the actual parasites, um, on the very top of every one, I put their general category. So for like nematodes, it's going to be helminths. Helminths first, and I put worms, and then nematodes, and then I put roundworm. And I'll do that for like the first three or four. I'll, I'll put helminth and nematode or cestode, the actual, I'll put the broad characteristics and then the, the or classification and the actual classification at the top of every one. But then I only write like the worms and the, and the roundworms or the, the common name for some of them because after a little bit through, then I'll be like, okay, I remember what that one is. And so I don't put them on all of them or I'll put it on a couple, wait a couple, put it on a couple, but you can put it on every one if you want to, or not at all, if you remember it really well. Um, so then each card has the, those two classifications and then it'll have the parasite that I'm um, doing, like the single specific parasite. And so, there's anaerobius, and then any pictures I have, I like to glue them on. And so then, 
the next one is um, is going to be your cestodes. So I've got one cover card for cestodes that kind of talks about cestodes because each one has some specific aspects to that um, to that species. And so cestodes or tapeworms in general have proglottids or segments and their um, scolects and uh, rostellum and things like that. And so the overall things I put on like the cestode card and then go into specific cestodes or like their different life cycles, the different kinds of larvae and stuff like that. Um, so and then, we go, then it goes into specific ones. And they're the same as the others. They have pictures and they have little notes and it's easier to keep track of these than it is to um, to keep trying to go through the book or take the book with you. You can take these with you and, and look at them on your breaks and stuff, but it's harder to take the whole book with you and sometimes, or at least look through it. And then you have, you know, the book will give you so much information and you don't necessarily need all that information. You just need little main pieces of it for each one. And so the cards kind of let you put the main, the main spots on it, main points on it.